Hey, it's John DeYoung, and today we're going to talk about hip flexors, uh, the iliopsoas muscles made up of two muscles, the uh, psoas and the iliacus. Its main function is to lift the leg into hip flexion. Um, a lot of people feel like they're st they, they stretch the hell out of them. They use the Theragun on them, <laughs> grind them to a pulp. Um, it's usually not about uh, uh, flexibility. It's about weakness. So I'm going to show you a few exercises you can do at home. We're going to simply use a few bands. Uh, these will be in the description. You can order these. So I want to make this quick. I want to get you out there. I want to get your hip flexor stronger. I know when I get up sometimes I feel a sharp pain in them. Um, the next day after I do squats or split squats, I feel that. I feel pulling on my lower back. So when they're, they're weak, they actually other muscles have to do the work. So let's get right to it. I'm going to give you a few great exercises for strengthening your hip flexors. Let's hit it. So for this hip flexor strengthening exercise, you're going to need one resistance loop. Uh, start off with about a medium resistance. You have to put your foot up on a, on a couch, on a, on a bench at the gym, at home if you have one at home. I happen to have my wife's Pilates reformer, so no shoes on that, otherwise you get divorced. All right, you can put it around your feet, okay. We're going to do a bridge. Shoulder blade together, we we'll pull that in. And we're gonna alternate. Hitting those hip flexors. You should feel that right through here. Maintain that bridge. If you need to go down, take a break, that's fine. Nice bridge again. Pull. And then pull. One, two, three. You can alternate or you can knock out five or six on one side and then get back to it. Alrighty. Super great for strengthening. As you get stronger, you can go a little stronger on your resistance loop. Again, these are in the description. Buy these. Get a bunch. They rip, they break, they're pretty cheap. Um, you know, and then once you strengthen your hip flexors, obviously, yeah, you have to straight, uh, stretch them, roll them out a little bit if you get a little tight. So, all right, let's move on to the next uh, strengthening exercise. Okay, this next strengthening exercise, you're going to take a dumbbell, a kettlebell, um, something that you can, you can have to lift your leg and get up and over it. So I want you to sit tall. We're going to contract, we're going to engage that hip flexor. We're going to bring it up, bring it over and down. Good squeeze up, over and down. You could try to relax it, contract up, over and down. And actually make it a little more challenging. Up, over, wave it over. <laughs> You're going to feel that. Oh, it's cramping a little bit. And bring it down. Whew, wow. Mine are kind of sore. I did some split squats yesterday. Uh, and one more time, contract the quad, engaging that hip flexor up, over, and down. I know it's not really bringing your leg into flexion, but you're isometrically contracting that hip flexor. You're going to feel it right there. All right, that's great. And then you'll do the other side, about 10 reps each side. Okay? All right, let's move on. Okay, our next hip flexor strengthening exercise is again, we're going to use a resistance loop. This is great, you know, for these exercises, this is all you need. We're going to put it around the top of your shoes. Okay. Again, we're going to need something that you can put your hands on, a little elevation off the floor. You could use a low bench, uh, a chair, something that's not going to move. Okay, we're going to fire the hip flexor, kind of like a toned down mountain climber. Whew, drive it up. A little bit of a hold, about 10 reps each side. Chin neutral, drive it up. You can do a few again each side. One, two, increase the resistance as you get stronger. Again, give me about 10 reps each side, probably for about two sets, all right? Okay, let's hit another exercise. Okay, we got two more strengthening exercises for your hip flexors. Again, we're going to use the loop. I'm teaching you a lot of different exercises because each one is just slightly different angle, even though you're using the same apparatus, the loop. Each one's a slightly different angle of hitting the hip flexor. So vary that up. You're not going to do all these in one sitting. All right, so this one is going to be a lot of fun. Very basic, a nice bridge. Contract your glutes, bring that up and down. And try to get your leg at a bit of a right angle. You're going to feel that again right away. It's kind of up and down. Very nice. Right from here, 
squeeze that hip flexor, get the foot up a little higher, better right angle. Okay, get some glute work as well. Nice. All right, again, around 10 or 12 each side. That's a bridge with March for hip flexor strengthening. Okay, we got one more exercise and then we're done. Okay. Okay, and for another hip flexor strengthening exercise, we're gonna use the ball and we're gonna do a little knee tuck. So you wanna give yourself enough room. We're gonna roll out. Give yourself a lot of room. Okay. Nice position, upper bodies. All right, push up position, shins around the ball. Tuck those knees to your chest. Keep your body kind of rigid. Drive it in. If there's resistance on that ball with your body weight against the floor, you're gonna feel that in your hip flexion. You're gonna get some abs on this as well. Tuck it in. A little reverse tuck. Okay. That's great, I love those. Again, get some abs as well. All right, we got one more exercise and then we're done. Okay, the last hip flexor exercise. We're gonna use the loop again. Put it right across the top of your shoes. You can really work on your balance. We're gonna drive, drive that leg up. Get the foot out in front of you. I prefer to do one side and then go to the other side, about 10 to 12 of these, okay? Drive that leg up. As you can see right here, driving that up, really getting into that hip flexor. And then switch it over about 10 to 12 each side. Two sets, probably combine it with one or two other exercises. So I gave you a bunch. Again, it's to really vary the resistance. You can increase the resistance of the loop. Um, you can hold on certain reps. So again, it's about strength. Let's strengthen your hip flexors. You can have less pain. Uh, in the hip flexor because it's getting so, it's tight, but it's more weak than tight. So definitely keep it stretched, uh, but keep it strong and it's gonna help you with a lot of stuff, your squats, uh, stability of your pelvis. And I tend to get a little lower back issues from mine that are super, super weak. So, all right, I hope that helps. Any questions, put it in the comments and hit subscribe. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon.